Daily Heavenly Manna. October 10th. Ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him, Colossians 3 verses 9 and 10. Only in our minds, in our wills, have the old things passed away and all things become new. Actually, this change will be accomplished when this mortal shall have put on immortality, when this corruptible shall be raised in incorruption, raised in glory, in power, as spirit beings. But meantime, in order to be counted worthy of a share in the resurrection of the just, it is required of us that we shall demonstrate our willingness of mind, our earnest desire to be all that the Lord would have us be, and in no way can this be better demonstrated to the Lord and to ourselves, or prove more helpful, than by keeping a strict surveillance of our hearts and of our thoughts. God's people have put off the old man in the sense of giving up the human will self-ward and world-ward. They have put on the new man, in the sense of taking God's will. As their own. Not only in human but also in spiritual respects. Thus the image of God is being daily renewed in them, as they are being changed from the glory of a less near to the glory of a more near likeness, until the image, character, of God is perfected in them. And the means by which this change is wrought is the word of God understandingly received into, and faithfully practiced by, good and honest hearts, amid life's experiences. Questions What have been this week's experiences with the old man and the new man? How were they met? In what did they result?